as the side quest has been waiting for long enough. Oh, there's two. Fuck. These two bastards are gonna be fucking assholes, aren't they? Yeah, because I'm a bearer. I have to find him before the Imperials do. Can't talk now, I... Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. You look like you're in a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might cost a man his life. Sounds serious. What happened? It's not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbors wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. We need to find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the whole time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. Well, go on then. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right? You don't send a bearer. Clive, this might take a while. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. I'd better find this Norris before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. Bear is a hardly difficult to spot. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? Yeah, that guy's an asshole. Them? What the fuck? Okay, what's going on with you? Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. Well, it's just a short climb down. I'll make it worth your while. I can't promise anything. Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have already claimed it. Claimed it? All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. <sighs> Sounds like I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry, there, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say, the ladders, right over there. Did you see you were here? You couldn't see them if they actually ate it. What's the ladder here again? Oh. Do you have a damn it? Heard of crabs eating crystal? This should be interesting. It's over. Oh, I thought we finished. 
That's enough. Does Bubble hit, hurt us? Bubbles are our worst enemies now. They somehow could injure us. But I want to know how does one becomes the bearer? Like. Earlier, like like the lady had a son, and somehow he turned out to be a bearer. How how's one supposed to turn into a bearer? They like they go to like some kind of shrine, and they say if you're if you're good or you're not, they, a tattoo will be drawn in your face or something. Well, any luck? Yours, I presume. You found it! Oh, thank you! Any longer out in the sun and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. Give you the money. But he didn't give me points. Damn you. Any points? Okay, let's find this false friend. I want to know his side of the story. How was he like, you know, like, hide of his, you know, like, that he was a bearer? This guy? Is this the guy? Oh no, this is off duty. You don't know a man called Norris, do you? I do, as it happens. He ran off that way not too long back. Looked like he was in a right all hurry. And he had a lantern with him for some reason. Never known him to stay out after dark. He was making for the marshes then. All right. Thank you. Like, how long has he hidden that he was a barrier? I want... That's what I want to know. Did he like some kind of like false skin under his, under his cheek that hide the, the symbol? He can't have gone far. I better keep my eyes peeled. Don't be attacked, isn't he? Attacked by his uh, his false friend. Uh, what's this? A lantern. The one Norris was carrying, no doubt. At least I know which way he went. He didn't went that far. <laughs> I like it how he's gonna run away, but he didn't sure went that them. far. I wonder if that someone was Norris. <laughs> uh, is he in here? Hello? Oh. Are you? Yeah, you're him. Norris, I presume. Leave me be. You were never branded. So that's how you stayed hidden. Ronald sent you after me, did he? Set an imperial dog on his best friend. And when we were so close, I'll never forget the hatred in his eyes. But it doesn't matter now. I will not become a slave. As one bearer to another, please. Don't do this. 
You know how they treat our kind! Ronald didn't send me. One of Martha's men did. He wanted to make sure you were safe. I don't understand. Martha takes in Paris. She's a friend. You can trust her. Believe me. I never knew. <laughs> I can't say I'm surprised, though. She has a kind heart. Kinder than most. Just wait here and stay out of sight. You'll be among friends soon enough. Thank you. There's few would have been so kind. And... Sorry. You're no Imperial dog. Far from it. <laughs> I've been called worse. Oh. I found a lantern back there. I assume it's yours. Thanks. I dropped it when those creatures attacked me. But... If I'm honest, I wasn't all that sorry to be rid of it. Ron gave it to me. All right. I'll keep hold of it. I might be able to use it to put an end to the Imperial Surge before it begins. A bear without a brand. To have lived free for so many years. I need to be betrayed by a friend. Look, I didn't need to know what's the barrier. Like, like how's one so, uh, like, you can identify that they're a barrier? I need to. Go to the lore guys, check what the barrier are. Like, do they like get some kind of different power or they have no power? Or what's going on? Shit, I should have listened carefully. Alright. He's still with that guy. I'll be fucked if I'm leaving this to a bearer. I'll go myself. God damn, he's still trying to find his 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 former friend. God damn bastard. There you are, Clive. How goes the search? Well branded. Have you found the bastard yet? Only what was left of him. A corpse, torn apart by monsters. And this. Let me see that. No. It can't be. Shall we consider that the end of the matter, then? Or do you need to see a body? No, no. I, I mean... I've no use for bearer bones. He's dead. Let that be an end to it. I only wish those whose job it was had done what they were supposed to do and spotted him sooner. Letting a bearer go about without a brand? It's not right, I tell you. Who want anything to do with me now, eh? There goes the bearer lover, they'll say. I'll be a laughing stock. Is it true, Clive? Is Norris really... He's alive. You'll find him in a hut in the marshes. He's expecting you. Oh, you crafty. Still, you did the right thing. Thank you. It's not much considering, but please, take this. There we go. Got points. All right. Go back to camp. Maybe I should just own up to. Oh, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway, and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you um... found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. <sighs> no more skulking about in the shadows for me then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies is one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a daughter. Oh, he's a busy man. 
And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven bolts. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here, for your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. But is it fine? The dog had it in his mouth. It should be like a little bit wet and bitter too. Let me go back to the lore guy. I want to know what the fuck is the bearer. Like how they like choose a bearer. Is it like certain power level or what? Good day. Or... I have quite the find for you today. Level three? What the fuck? Founder... What subject shall we consider today? The Emperor of the Holy Empire, uh, Saint Freak, who won his throne at least a partly by virtue of his son. At their awakening as a dominant of Bahamut. Oh! I see. Sick. Uh, person of interest. Alright. Person with the power to. Cast magic without a crystal. Wait. What? Person with the power to cast magic without a crystal in. Elsa High. Men and women who awaken as a bearer are enslaved. They are marked with the branding upon their cheek and used as a tool. A cheaper alternate. Discards a precious shards. This system of slavery was pestered for centuries. Become a ingrained of Falstein life. Few take pity upon the bearer's plight, seeing them as less than human. So, because they they could do magic. That's why. They do magic. <laughs> God damn it. Is that the reason they become bearers? They could do magic? Magic uh, without using the crystals? Bearers are enslaved, branded with the mark of their cheeks, and they lead them to, uh, lead some call them by the projective uh, moniker branded. Though there are powers to do, not to begin to approach the those of the almighty dominance. They too suffer from the crystal curse, gradually turning to stones over a lifetime of channeling aether for another, for others. I want to know about the curse. The price uh, bearers and dominants pay for channeling aether through through their bodies. Oh, a gradual preservation on their flesh. It does not affect those who use the crystals to cast magic. To be begin with the stillness and the aches in the extremist as the curse progress. Nymphs are rendered immobile and pain unbearable. At least the victim turns completely to stone and their bodies crumble into dust. There is no known uh, cure. The art of channeling Aether to make one imaginal manifest this could take aspect of one of the eight elements. Fire, water, wind, earth, ice, thunder, light, and dark. This this is where I could get my uh, my my questions. The fire, water, yeah, water. We're missing water, so it has to be the Leviathan that we're missing. Uh, uh, the the icon. More rare, uh, rarely. The uh, aspect. While bearers and dominants can cast spells at will. Others require a crystal to do so. Magic is a part of everyday life for people of Bastida. Ah, 
making it all about the unlivable uh, when they are deprived of, of its gift. All right. Do you need any help? Uh, all those fucking bastards are jealous of us. We can do magic without crystals. Fucking bastards. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having? On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Speaking of Oriflam. I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it ain't tires Borbile Tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? All right. Clive, was it? Take a seat, Clive. I'll... So you're really going through with it? Sid's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the hide in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone travelling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back, and she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. The hell is this? Alien report are now, uh, now available for. Viewing by speaking to God at the Atlanta report, Canada Highway mess. These reports complied by the Curse Breaker. Taint information at quest currently available across Valhista. Or Valhasta. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. I thought he was like some kind of spy, like he was listening to our conversation. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. 
But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Quick look. Used to go on a report not only to find new quests in around Vale Hellstead, but also travel melee at the obelisk to wait for a near their location. Dying in the vine. Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. it that was gonna fight someone so you're the new arrivals is there anything I can get you you're safe here they don't punish people like us for speaking our minds truly I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. <sighs> Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. Okay. Oh, there's still a side mission. I thought I had to go back to the the the, to the hideaway and like start it. Do I have to pay the food? That's it for free, no, isn't it? Daddy. I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favored guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. God damn. <laughs> she was hostile at first, holy shit. Better than mine. Hopefully this will be enough. You know, it's weird. Bread and wine. I did not, you know, think to give those two, those two people with bread and wine. Especially the wine. <laughs> I won't get water, but wine. That bearer spoke to a master. What matter of place is this? <laughs> it's like a completely new world for them. Holy shit. Here. Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly?
Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. God. What happens to us now, brother? Nothing bad, I promise. Not ever again. I've been wondering, why, why don't we, like, the barriers attack their own master? We know magic! We could do magic without the crystals. We could just cast a spell on them, like, just throw a fireball. Where they already have to get the crystal. In here, uh, it, yep, it, it's in here. What's going Clinton, on with you? Never forgive me if I don't save that crop. Where the fuck you guys came from? What the fuck? I, I, I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's ah. Oh. Glory to Grieger! You were the hanged man! I took you for a rogue! If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps! And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's gotten worked up, and little wonder. This'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right. I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. Right, they're still following me. Kind hey, of weird. Sometimes they follow me, sometimes they don't. That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Where's the bugs? Oh, there they are. There they are. Motherfuckers. You know what? Can I kill him with this? That's it. <laughs> oh, shit. It's just a matter of seconds. And they're all dead. Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm done. Like that was the last of them. I better let Quentin's man know. Okay, that was easy. <laughs> Holy shit. Those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quentin would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotan Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial Wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> God damn it, this is like the only rewards I get. They, they look like they're giving me something. They give me like this black blood and sharp fangs. This is like my payments. I 
go back here. God damn it. So I finished all the side quests, but then they gave me more. So who has problems over there? What's going on with you? Oh wait. What are you after? You got something to do. What you got? Hmm. That all is it? What happened to you? I've seen your face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. All right. I'll see to your problem. Oh, thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? In there? What the fuck? Ha! Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Hey, it's actually bandits. Get him, lads. I oh, want that blade. You want my blade? Way. Fuck you. It's my blade. I could take some hits. Stay down. Oh, that's it? What the fuck? What happened to the other guy? <laughs> Shit. They're going four points. They're not worth it. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is. The hero of the golden stables. People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, Merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right. We've got work to do for her to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. Are you blood, blood expert, uh, mercenary? You're the one who saw off the bandits, aren't you? Martha was singing your praises. Ah, it takes a brave man to march into danger out of the goodness of his heart. You have my respect. A Rosarian salute. Oh, well, what is it they say? Old habits die hard. I trust you won't be reporting me to the Vicerine. <laughs> if we'd had a few more like you about, perhaps the Rosfields might still... <laughs> Listen to me rambling on. Thank you again, and... Uh, take care of yourself. Is 
Does he know I'm from the Rose Field? Oh, it's just that he doesn't want to remember. Oh, no. I feel like he just did the the gesture of the Rosefield, you know, the salute. Knowing that I'm, I'm Clive Rosefield. He's trying to show his respect. 